Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video comparing the S5 mini, uh, which is the latest phone here from Samsung, and I want to compare it here uh, against the Galaxy S4 mini. So S5 mini versus S4 mini, and S4 mini is just a mini version of the Galaxy S4, and S5 mini this year is just a mini version of the S5. So, let's uh, go over the specs here. Some obvious things here, of course, are uh, that the new device is waterproof. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a flap, which is interesting. It's something I saw that. has a little bit of a new design, of course, the S5 design. Uh, it's also wearable like the S5 mini in, or S4 mini in a lot of different colors. It doesn't come with the fox leather back, probably because it's like water resistant. Uh, but it has a fingerprint sensor, the fingerprint scanner as well. Uh, so let's go over the new things here. So uh, first of all, the obvious thing why you would want to upgrade or why you wouldn't want to use this stead is fingerprint sensor, IP67 certification, so dust and water resistant uh, up to 1 meter and 30 minutes. Uh, the other thing is a bit, little bit bigger display, 4.5 inches instead of 4.3 inch, at 720p display uh, instead of a little bit lower 540,960 display. That's also some very, very nice things. Here, here's also a big one, 16 gigabytes of internal storage instead of 8 gigabytes. I mean, uh, that, that's also going to be like one of those big things because 8 gigabytes, you can't really install that much. Uh, if we move down here, both an 8 megapixel camera and it's probably going to be a little bit better, but overall it's probably not going to be that impressive. Uh, when you go down here, you can see also that you get the latest version of Android. Uh, and of course, the latest version of probably like TouchWiz on the S5 Mini, and 4.4.2 KitKat, or one of the latest versions of Android at least, uh, versus Android 4.2, uh, but 4.4.2 KitKat is going to come to the S4 Mini from what I've heard, and Samsung has been pretty good at rolling it out to a lot of Samsung devices, so that's definitely nice. Uh, both here, uh, the, the pro processor setup is interesting because the S4 Mini actually came with the dual core on 7 GHz high clock dual core processor, create one, which was a very, very good one. Uh, but this year, I think that they're running with the uh, Snapdragon or a Cortis A7, which is not that impressive from what I've seen in 1.2 GHz uh, quad core setups. But this one's running a little bit higher, 1.4. At least I think it's Cortis A7, there might be something else, but my experience is that dual core with 7 GHz crate kind of feels a little bit better than quad core over 2 GHz uh, Cortis A7, but this is a little bit higher, so um, yeah, we will see about that. Uh, a little bit bigger battery life, also 2100 mAh with 1900 mAh on the S4 Mini. So, um, I still would say the bigger, a little bit bigger display, water resistant. Uh, 16 GB of internal storage, I would say that that is the big ones, and then the hot rate sensor on the back, fingerprint scanner on the front, uh, new button layout, new touch width. There's a lot of things why you would want to upgrade. Uh, so, um, yeah, but uh, just a quick little video if you're checking, comparing that out to probably someone interested in that. So, um, this device, as far as I mean, is probably going to come out on the market in mid July or something like that, and that's going to be nice stuff. <laughs> yeah, have an awesome day.